folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints. 22 men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from Atlanta. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Over at first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From nearby North Cross, Georgia, it's Alvin Kamara. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Kamara on the carry for New Orleans. The tackle made at the 24-yard line. On second down, Kamara. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent gain. It's a gain of six. First down, Saints. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second Brandon, down perfect six. defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. 12 yards there and a first down. And the Saints. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. At the 47-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Breeze to throw again. He's got his own pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 33. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. First down, New Orleans. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10. Down at the 33. Now, Breeze again. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Well, that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. The job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Breeze now to throw. He's going to air one out. It's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. Ito Smith, his first carry. And he will 
will take this up to about the eight yard line. Smith, the ball carrier. Mario Davis there on the stop. That is on eight it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. of the afternoon picked and where do you go from here because when you start that way do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game or do you find a way out of it we're going to find out now the first down carry it's Camaro man this play gets blown up they'll lose yardage back at the 17 officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 at the 17 yard line after the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Breeze to throw. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. No score after one on EA Sports. A real threat. This is third and long. Shotgun now for Breeze. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Michael Thomas. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal. And this time they were ready for him as they stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Brings up second and goal at the Falcons' four-yard line. This is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Will, Will Lutz on for the point after. after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7-0 lead. Makes the score Saints 7, Falcons nothing. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. 
The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's complete to Smith. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Complete to Edo. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. To throw again on second down. Ryan Smith catches left side. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. It's caught. Jones. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That third down conversion, good for 23. First, so in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. down carry for Smith and he stopped immediately there Edo Smith the ball call carrier. it no gain on the play and it'll be Taking second down, down. Right at the line of scrimmage the free safety okay. roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop how about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle and his throw is incomplete Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Third down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On third down, Ryan. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he'll go out of bounds right around the third. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. Oh, my goodness, this is incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Saints will have the football back. Play is a turnover on down. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Here, we just got good ball control. This is the NFL. 7-0 leads. They don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Saints. On first down, Breeze. And brought in by the tackle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Saints. First down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. 
So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot. And